Hey there, I am Chef Johnny. This is Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. And no, we're not cooking today. We know this is a cooking channel, but guys, I have an extensive playlist of wild game. And the way we get that is by hunting. The other day I picked up a couple of flashlights or had some sent to me actually from Bass Fire that fit on your rifle. I'm gonna show you those, let you see what we got. I got one mounted here on my uh, 300 Resolute. It's from CMMMG. I am loving this. It's in a 350 Legend. And guys, this is a good little light, taking it hog hunting. This, this is a hog eliminator. But we're gonna look at this uh, zoomable flashlight in green. Also got one in red. We're gonna do an opening up though, let you see them. And if you wanna see a review of this uh, CMMG Resolute in 300 Legend, put some comments down below and say, hey, show us some details on that gun. Keep watching guys, I'm on an elk hunt. Uh, we're doing some videos, the drawing's gonna be real soon for that. We'll find out if we get drawn to go to Wyoming. I've got that Begara rifle, y'all may have seen that video out there. But guys, we're gonna be doing some different stuff that's gonna go along with our channel, but this is the way we get our wild game to do those wild game cooks that we do for y'all. But today, we're gonna look at this green and red light from Bass Fire. So come in here close, we'll open up these boxes, we'll let you see how we have it mounted on this CMMG and tell you what we thought about these lights. Now, you can look and see, I do have a clip in here. This gun is clear, I checked it, but just to be safe and let y'all see, one's in there. Grab the charging handle. This baby is good, nothing wrong with it. So, nothing's in it. Go ahead and pop that back in there. And here is, this is the green zoomable. Guys, it's good and bright. I think it's about a thousand lumens, it has it, and the red also. The green you see better, and I like it much better. We've already been hog hunting with it. Got a hog, they have not seen it. I'm gonna try to get you a little footage of the dark, of it shining, and let y'all see it. But, comes with a nice little mount, hooks to a Picatinny rail. Let me just unscrew this and let y'all see it right here. I'm gonna, it also comes with a pressure switch. You can see I have the pressure switch on here. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pick this one up. And here's the, the pressure switch. So it mounts onto our, uh, onto our gun. Thick part, push it, it stays on, off. Or if you, the narrow part, while well, you hold it in, it's on and it's off. Both these uh, are zoomable, so if I turn it on, you can look, and this will pull out. It'll go in, so it'll get broader, it'll get narrower, It zoom in. Um, this is not what came on this one. The amount, this is one that I had that's an offset. I just thought I liked it better. Uh, you can mount it here, you can put it on the other side and it go up, but uh, it, this is an offset that didn't come with it. This is the offset that came with it. I'll bring it up close where y'all can kind of see it. I don't like this near as well, but this 30 millimeter one, all right, here's my green. I'll turn it on for y'all. I'm gonna find my switch here. Here we go. It zooms in and out. I like it real well. Works great for hogs. They never see you have it. Uh, I think these are sturdy. I think the lights are built well. I have no complaints at all about the light. Uh, the mount is just a little kind of plain Picatinny mount. I'm not nuts about it. Uh, I think they do have lights, they have better mounts. They even have an offset like this one. And here's the problem with the green one. It's a little bit bigger than one inch. And since it's bigger than one inch, I could not, I'm gonna turn that back off. It would not fit on my offset mount that I already had. So that was kind of the bad deal. But you can kind of see that uh, this is a nice little offset. I picked it up on Amazon before, but the lights themselves are very good. But a regular one inch will not work on the green. It will work on the red. These are excellent. Like I said, I'm gonna try to get you some footage out in the dark. I recorded some, I know you can't see much on them, but you'll be able to see out, see how far it goes, lit some stuff up. And guys, I have lit this up with these, I would say well over a hundred yards, had pigs in the, in the scope with it. So it worked very good. The red one, I would say is more, oh, 75, 80 yards is where I'd want to be or less with it. Uh, might work better. I think they call this their coyote light. I have a link below for Bass Fire, but both very good, both very economical. Uh, I got a set of two, but I think these are around 20, 25 bucks a piece for whichever one you may pick. They do have, uh, 
just a plain clear white one and it does come with the offset mount which I wish came with these and I wish this one had it okay guys we're uh, in the blind here hog hunting uh, you can see I've got that mounted on my CMMG it's on the offside broaden it out a little bit so I can get y'all up here that's about 80, 90 yards where that light is. Right there, okay. Brush line over there. So, it's lighting up real good. I haven't put the red one on the light. There's the green one done, and that's not a full strength. I can get a little full strength for you. Look at that. That'll light up any time that would put a line going. Look at our roadway. Yeah, baby, cut it out of here. That's a right way. Right there. Look down over a hundred yards. Like that. I can shoot through the end of that little road. There's trees right there, probably 80 yards away. But that's full. I zoomed all the way out in green line. Now the cool thing about this, they are rechargeable. And guys, don't ask me the size of these batteries. I don't remember. They're they're a little bit bigger than a uh, they're smaller than a C, I guess, and bigger than a double A. I think these are what they call 18650s or something like that. They're bigger than a double A. But if you take that one out and there's a little sleeve in this green one, it's, it's the one with the bigger barrel. It actually has an attachment for putting putting triple A batteries in there. So you can put three triple A's, drop that in, but you have to take out the little insert. So what you can do is, is if you want to carry it around, you can turn it on and again, zoom it. But that's not how I use it. I'm using it mounted on a gun. Uh, we've used it with my 300 uh, Win Mag Bagara. Worked fine. But like I said, I leave this one on this uh, 350 Legend. I'll give y'all a close up of this little mount. Uh, you can use the one for the one inch, one for the other. So you get two lights, two cases. But guys, like I said, I wish that they sent this offset like they have on one of their white lights with it. Nothing wrong with these. They'll work since they have a nice long screw on them. There's a lot of adjustable. You can get a, a bigger flashlight in there. And again, hooks to nice and tight to a Picatinny rail. That works fine. Each one has its own charger. They each come with Velcro strips so that you can hook your uh, your switch onto your gun and they'll Velcro on and you can take it on and off if you're hunting in the daytime and don't need it. But you can just use your Velcro. Anyway, very good lights. I think an excellent bargain for the price. These things are just, uh, I think they're built tough. I especially, I wish the green one was this size so I could use it on the offset. Doesn't work. I'm using this one, no complaints. It's working fine. And uh, I can show you here how we put it back on. It just sits on the uh, on the Picatinny. You got a nut and you just screw it on there. And uh, it's got a nice wide thread on it or a uh, slot. So you could use a coin or something to tighten it up if you wanted to. Little pair of pliers, but it works fine. Comes in here, you can come in, there it is on. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I'm holding it in or I can leave it on all the time. And the way I have it mounted on here is, is I just wrap the cord around it. I actually got like a hair band, like you would, I doubled it up, put it on there like you do a ponytail with, and that just kind of helps hold stuff in place. But it works great, works great on this 350 Legend. Uh, both lights are very good. Bass Fire did send these out to me to try. I was actually fixing to buy one, and I got an email from them say, hey, you want to try out our lights? So perfect timing on that. Um, we do have the green one comes, the bigger one comes with the ability of putting three triple A's in it. I like that. They come with their charger, USB port charger in each one. But I tell you what guys, a nice little case. There's nothing wrong with these cases at all. Uh, they got snaps on the front. So we got two snaps across the front and across the ends. So you got a good little case to carry them in. I like that. Uh, the other thing that I haven't showed y'all is, is there are mounts in them 
for putting them onto a scope. I don't know if I'm nuts about this type of mount. I think I'd rather have a some type of Picatinny mount, but you can loosen it up and this will actually fit onto your scope and you can put the flashlight up here. So here we go, guys. Got the 300 out here. Got the uh, offset mount off of this one. So we can show you how the, the mount works on the scope. But all you have to do is, is put this on right here. Slide your light in. And then just tighten it up. And it will tighten up on your light and on your scope. And there you have it. If you want to use it on here, I could use this for hog hunting also. Got some big boars running around. Maybe y'all can see that. But that'll work fine and dandy. They make these also uh, where you can put them on a Picatinny rail instead of uh, crasping around your, your tube or your scope. But hey, that works just fine. Primarily, these are going to be on the, on the 350 Legend. But I can use it on the 300. And like I said, we have shot a hog with this gun with the uh, green light at night. But works very fine. Uh, we're going to be doing a review on this. If you want to see this review, hey, make sure you put it in the comments down there and say, hey, show us that Bogara 300, right? Because this Highlander Premier is nice. I think it's the only fluted barrel they have. Uh, not too heavy, about seven and a half pounds. It's got a Vortex Viper scope, four by 16 on it. And let me tell you guys, this is a shooting machine. We're taking this on our elk hunt this year. The drawing will be in about a week. We're going to find out if we got drawn for Wyoming. If not, we'll decide if we're going to go over the counter in Colorado or try to put in for next year uh, to Wyoming again. But anyways, hey, that's it. It's a, it's good lights, vast fire. I'm liking them very, very well. Got the green one on my AR. If you want to see a review of this CMMG, let me know. But check out vast fire. I'll put a link below for the lights I've got. And remember, they come with your cables where you can have the clickers to turn them on or the ends, they both come with their own mounts to hook to Picatinny rails, or they come with their mounts for scope. But hey, Vastfire, thanks for sending these out. Be looking for this hunting playlist. I'm gonna be putting up, uh, this may be the first one in it. But guys, we're gonna uh, talk about our elk hunt, show you our backpack, show you. We're gonna have a whole video for Scree. Scree is uh, sponsoring my hunt, and they're sponsoring the channel now. We're doing some videos for them, so go to their website, and you can see us cooking for them. We got a lot of great videos that uh, we're cooking up for Scree. Going to be doing a new one every month for them. Uh, but hey, plenty of batteries, power, rechargeable USB. Can also use the triple A's in the uh, in the the green one, right? Because it's a little bigger tube uh, to get an offset for that one. You can't use a one inch. You got a little bit get a little bit bigger. But hey, two great lights just in from Vastfire. Hope you like it. If you like these uh, hunting reviews, I'm going to be doing. Uh, maybe do some uh, some hunt, kill, clean type cook videos uh, for y'all. But got a lot coming your way. Doing a new playlist here. So let me know what you think about the new playlist also. Thanks for stopping by Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. I am Chef Johnny. This is the Hunting Playlist. And we appreciate you coming by. See y'all down the road. So long, everybody.